Hey guys, welcome back and thanks for joining me. So it looks like Fortnite game has now disabled uh, essentially the first person mode that was not supposed to be here just yet. Uh, but yeah, with that being said, they actually disabled it. So this is the official statement. Uh, we've deployed a hotfix to resolve an unintended interaction. Uh, we're selecting the first person view setting in Save the World would transfer over to other modes in Fortnite. Uh, so yeah, in case you guys have never seen before, we'll play a very short clip as we're talking about it. But yeah, that is essentially what first person mode was currently in chapter four. Now, yes, it was not supposed to be here yet. And it was actually, you know, actually enabled through Save the World to Battle Royale. And I guess it kind of just gave us a first look as far as, you know, what is going to be coming at some point, maybe in season two, uh, chapter five, or, you know, something of that nature. I just really hope at some point we see it a little bit better. I don't know exactly how they can change it to feel more of like a F PS type game like Call of Duty, GTA 5, you know, stuff of that nature. But I think basing it off GTA 5's first person mode is a very good start. To me, it honestly just kind of feels like GTA 5 when I was playing with it. I didn't really get a chance to fully play with it. But with that being said, when I did play with it again, it did feel like GTA 5 almost. The only thing that's actually lacking is the fact that it doesn't really feel like an FPS type thing. You know, if it's going to be first person mode and we're going to be having, you know, gameplay fights like you guys see in the background video, it's, it has to be some sort of FPS feel. But what do you guys think? You know, what kind of feel do you guys want first person mode to be when it does come back at some point in season two chapter five or whatever actually decides to come back now continue on we just told you guys yesterday that we were supposed to be getting an update today and now the update is now here and they actually added fortnite school of llama uh commence training for in-game reward gerald or gerald of rivia is now unlockable in fortnite chapter four season one's battle pass in addition to completing his battle pass quest for in-game reward uh you can go through the school our fortnite school of llama channel challenges to unlock even more in-game rewards. Note, purchasing the battle pass is not required to participate in School of Llama challenges. So that's actually pretty cool. Complete in-game tasks from the School of Llama website from today through March uh, 10th, 2023 at 11.59 p.m. ET. As you progress through the school's pass, you'll unlock in-game rewards. Uh, learn more on how it works below. So everyone thought this is actually a brand new map, but I honestly think it's kind of like a, they took our map right now and they made it to like a medieval type feel uh, for, you know, this character inside the game. I can never say his name right. I don't know if it's Gerald or Gerald or I don't know, man. I just, I've never played that game before, so I don't even know how to say his name. I should probably look it up because it's well not professional but sorry about that uh but with that being said the fortnite school of llama challenges contain four different paths path one is available right now while paths two three and four will become available over the coming weeks as it progress through each path you'll be challenged with in-game tasks that can be completed in battle royale and zero build uh finishing a task unlocks the next one until you reach an obstacle so essentially speaking right now path one is available on path two that becomes available on the 14th path three february 21st and the last path uh path four is on february 28th and with that being said of course here is all the in-game rewards there's quite a few things to unlock uh but yeah quite fortunate that's actually through creative mode i honestly do not like creative mode uh challenges and stuff like that but i'm sure some of you guys do so yeah have fun with that but i personally just don't like it now, in other news, right now inside of Target, Walmart, and stores like that, you guys can actually get these solo mode figurines from Jawaris. Hopefully, I'm saying that right. But yeah, Jawaris is now selling some figurines of popular Fortnite skins. And if you guys actually buy some of these, I believe you guys can get like the, I think it was called the Donut Danger Wrap or Danger Donut Wrap, my bad. Uh, but yeah, with that being said, if you guys actually still want this, even though it's, you know, it just came out to the end of shop like two days ago for like, I don't know, 300, 500 V bucks. Uh, you guys can actually cop one of these for like 12 bucks or 20 bucks at Target, Walmart, or any other major retailer across the USA. I don't know if they're available uh, outside the USA. I just simply know because, well, I live in the USA that it's available in my local stores in Florida. Uh, but with that being said, though, again, it is only like a two or three dollar wrap, and it's actually not even a rare wrap at all. So I don't know how I feel about this. I really was hoping they would put some rare stuff inside of here, considering that many streamers lately have been giving away like wraps that are like, you know, 1000 days old or 1200 days old. And again, Epic, if you're watching this, hand me some. I would love to give them out to my audience and I'm sure you guys would love to receive them. But yeah, I don't know why they're using old cosmetics or cosmetics that are, you know, readily available. It's just kind of boring in my opinion. Now, I've been wanting to talk about this for a couple of days now, but essentially speaking, I'm trying out some new experimental content on my YouTube Shorts, which is actually on this main channel. And with that being said, I'm also trying that out over on TikTok and I think on Instagram and Facebook. So essentially speaking, people keep calling me a VTuber now, but I'm really just simply not. It's just honestly something that no 
one's doing and it's a great experiment and so far we've gained like 400,000 views in just about like three days of trying this over on TikTok so needless to say it's working pretty well so a little thing for you guys in today's video if someone says something is cringe but you know it's not cringe and you know it works out just ignore them chances are they're either jealous or they think everything is cringe which honestly we need to get over that, man. Not everything is cringe these days. Now, on a later note, guys, I thought it'd be pretty fun to share some memes. So I see this over on the Fortnite Reddit. So it says School Trooper. Honestly, if I see this in real life, I'd be laughing my butt off because quite frankly, that's just like the funniest thing ever. It's like a complete meme face. Uh, the Witcher Steel Sword appears in the IGNI sign emote when both are equipped. So that's actually pretty cool. A little Easter egg for you guys in today's video uh, from the actual Witcher skin to unlockable today. POV, when I finish second with 10 kills, I die by bush camper using Deku Smash. This one's pretty accurate. Totally meant to do that. I'm sure you did. And lastly, every single time, POV, you land at Anvil Square. And yeah, every time I play with myself, my friends, my wife, I die almost instantly upon dropping at Anvil Square. There's actually quite a bit of loot here, but with that being said, everybody lands here. Like, it's just the main point of interest in the game, I think. Uh, but yeah, kind of curious, where do you guys land in Fortnite right now? Okay guys, so that was about it for the news section, but I do want to talk to you guys about a few things that I have planned to do to this channel, because honestly, I'm not having super amounts of fun right now. I know it sounds weird, but... Essentially speaking, the way I see my YouTube channel right now is it's pretty much dead. Like, needless to say, I'm not getting that many views. And I see people point that out all the time, which, appreciate that. Uh, make me feel bad about that, but <laughs> it's alright. I definitely understand, you know, the internet is the way it is. But with that being said, I do want to hit 1 million subs finally. It's been a long time coming, years in advance. And quite frankly, I have so many plans for this YouTube channel, but I'm always afraid to implement them. I really want to cover other games. I want to cover other things. I want to try new experimental content that you get on the channel. But with that being said, it seems like every single time I do try something new, I get a crap ton of, of unfollows, which I definitely understand. You guys subscribe for Fortnite and you describe or you subscribe for, you know, Fortnite news related content. But that niche is essentially gone. Like whether you guys look at my channel, Merle's Postbox Packs, Camp and Rusher, Ali A, we're all down probably about 80% of our views that we used to be. So not good for business, got not good for overall money because you know that's important still. You know, we enjoy our YouTube channels, but at the same time, life is getting expensive. We're in a weird time frame right now in the world, and things are just only going up in price. Mortgages, rent prices, home prices, food, absolutely everything. I just honestly I stay here all day long wondering what I should do next because quite frankly, I get a really, really bored lately. Like Fortnite content is just simply boring and that's quite sad because quite frankly i love making videos but it gets to the point where there's not enough content to post every single day i honestly have major props to Tabor hill for posting like eight videos a day now literally speaking i could probably break this video up into like five or five or six different videos but i really just don't like doing that i love talking to you guys i'll have i love having conversations with you guys and i love trying new things so i'm kind of wondering if you guys would be open for me to try new things on this youtube channel uh kind of similar to what moist critical is doing covering game news uh, drama drama type things, you know, in real life stuff and just everything. Aside from the Fortnite stuff, you know, I'm still would post Fortnite content every single time it's available because I love this game. It's my career. It's the reason I've even have a career. But at the same time, you know, I do need to expand to other things. So my question to you guys is, would you be open to it? So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.